Have you ever wanted to read comics or manga on your Kindle? Well, if you're like most normal people, then you might just go to the Kindle store and buy it there like a schmuck. But if your taste in comics or manga is even a little bit obscure, then you're probably not going to find what you're looking for there. And maybe you're like me and you don't really want to support Amazon, so you would rather just find these comics or manga some other way and then get them on your Kindle like that. And that's what I'll be showing you how to do in this video. So unfortunately, it isn't as easy as just dragging and dropping the files onto your Kindle. You're going to have to do a little bit of work to convert it. And this is not just for Kindles. This will also work for any other e-ink, e-reader, say something like a Kobo. I know it says Kindle right here on the page, but this will work for anything. But for me personally, I am using this e-ink Kindle right here. And of course, this only really makes sense for e-ink devices because if you're using a tablet, then there's just a million and one applications that can read comic book files, so you don't really need to convert it. But I'm going to assume that you already have some comic book files downloaded. I'm not going to go through where and how to get them. I'll leave that up to you. You guys are probably smart enough to do that. But whenever you do download these comic files or manga files, they should look something like this. So this is my file manager right here. As you can see, I have three comic files right here, and they are CBZ file format. So when you download a comic file, it might be CBZ, CBR, or something like that. And CBZ is basically just a zip file. CBR is just a RAR file. And you can open these like you would any zip file or RAR file. The only difference is they're labeled CBZ, just so that you know that they're supposed to be read as a comic book, and not just open like a normal zip file. But I'm going to assume you have some files like this. Maybe I'll also get them as a folder full of images. That also works. But once you have these files here, then what you're going to want to do is download this Kindle Comic Converter application right here. I will leave a link to this in the description and a link to everything else, so just check the description if you're looking for something. And of course, if you're on Windows or Mac OS, it's going to be as easy as downloading this installer right here and installing it. If you're on Linux, there's no easy installer, but what you can do is you can go over to the GitHub here, again, link in the description, and you can install it with these commands right here. So you would just copy these commands in order to install all the dependencies and then paste this in your terminal in order to install it. That's pretty self-explanatory. If you are on Arch, it is also in the Arch user repository. It's called KCC. So you can just install that with your favorite Arch user repository helper. But anyway, once you have this installed, you can go ahead and open it up. It will just be in whatever application launcher you have. So you can just run Kindle Comic Converter right here. And then when you open it up, it will look something like this. Now this is pretty self-explanatory. So we have everything that you can need here. We have edit file. And this is where you add the CBZ, the CBR file, whatever you downloaded. It'll even accept PDF files. And if it's just a folder with a bunch of images inside it, then you can just click add directory. And then there's just a few options down here. You can check manga mode if you want it to read right to left. And most of these other options you don't really need to touch. I didn't need to touch any of these. You can also set which device that you're going to send it to. And this will just give you different dimensions because some of these devices are bigger than others. So you don't need to make the pages as big if you're just going to be reading it on a small e-reader. So go ahead and just select whatever device you have over here. And then just click convert. It's as easy as that. Now that's all there is to it if you are reading this on a Kobo or something else, but if you are using this on an Amazon Kindle device, you have to do a little bit more. So by default, this will not have the option to convert it to a Mobi file. It will only have the option to convert it to an EPUB. And EPUBs are great, but they can't be read on Amazon Kindle devices. That's just the way it is. And by default, it will not have an option for this Mobi right here. It will probably have a little notice right here telling you to download Kindle Gen. And Kindle Gen is a little application made by Amazon that will basically convert EPUB files to Mobi files so they can actually be read on your Kindle. And before you try it, don't try to convert this with some other application like Calibre because there's a good chance that if you convert an EPUB to Mobi using Calibre, then it will corrupt your file. So you'll just want to do it in here in the Kindle Comic Converter. And so we need to get the application called Kindle Gen. But there's just one small problem, and that is that Kindle Gen is discontinued by Amazon. So you can't just go onto Amazon's website and download Kindle Gen directly. And so what you actually need to do instead is track this down somewhere on the internet. 
Now, I'll, I'll leave links to this in the description. So here is the Kindle Gen for Windows, and here's the Kindle Gen for Linux. And you can just download this from archive.org because it's no longer available on Amazon's website. But if you're on Windows, you should be able to download this file and open up the zip file and drag the Kindle Gen executable into your program files wherever your Kindle comic converter has been installed to. Drag that to the same folder and it should work correctly. And if you're on Linux, then you would just take the executable file from here and put this somewhere inside your path. So for example, you could put it inside slash user slash local slash bin. If you are on macOS, then it might be a little bit more difficult. Uh, you can try this right here. You can try installing Kindle Comic Creator using Homebrew. And if you don't have Homebrew installed, then you can check it out here. I will leave a link to this as well. But you would want to install this inside your command prompt and then run this command right here to install Kindle Comic Creator. And I should include Kindle Gen, and then you should be able to have that work as you would expect. But I don't actually have a Mac OS to test this out, so if somebody does have a Mac and they want to leave a comment, that would be appreciated. But that is the main way of getting Kindle Gen. But if the idea of downloading some random file off the Internet Archive seems a little bit sketchy to you, then there is kind of an official way to do it. So I've told you already that Kindle Gen is no longer available to download on Amazon's website. But they do have this newer application called Kindle Previewer, and I'll leave a link to this as well. But this is a tool that you can download for Windows or Mac OS, and it's not really important. What's important is that it includes Kindle Gen inside of it. So what you would do is download this, install it, and then I'll leave a link to this comment in the description. This explains where you can find the Kindle Gen executable on Windows. It will be in this location on your system, and on macOS it will be on in this location. And I think once you find this Kindle Gen executable, you can just copy it to the same directory that your Kindle Comic Converter is installed to, and I think that should work. But you may have to put this folder inside your path variable, and it's different for macOS and Windows. Uh, I won't go over that in this video, but you will have to add that directory to your path variable. So this is a little bit more technical, but if you want another way to get Kindle Gen, then this is going to be it. And finally, if you're on Arch Linux, then you can just download Kindle Gen from the Arch user repository. So you can just install that with your favorite AUR helper, and that'll probably be the easiest way to do it. But once you finally track down Kindle Gen and install it, then you should be good to go. So you should be able to come in here and convert to Mobi. And once you initially set all that up, then you are now good to go, and you can convert as many files as you would want here. So you would just add file, let's say Berserk Volume 1, and then click Convert. And then just let it run for a few minutes and it should be finished. I didn't want to wait for it to convert, so I've already done that. Let me reload this and I now have a Mobi file of this comic book. So once I reload this, I now have the Mobi version of this and I can now copy this to my Kindle. Or better yet, I can use a program like Calibre that I have right here. And I already have another video on Calibre if you're not familiar with this. But if you have an e-reader and you're not using Calibre, what are you doing? But you can click Add Books, go ahead and add this, plug in your Kindle, and then just click Send to Device. It's as easy as that. So I would really recommend using Calibre as well if you want to do this. And you're now done. That's all you need to do. But as a little bonus, I'll also show you how to do this on the command line. So if you're like me and you don't want to just click around this graphical interface, then you can do it on the command line. And in my opinion, it's a little bit faster. So let's just go over here and open up a new terminal. Go to Downloads. And then the command line application is going to be called kcc-c2e. And you can just run that directly to get all of the options. And so all of this is going to be pretty self-explanatory. And then all you need to do is run kcc-c2e, pass in dash m if it is a manga. And then if you want to batch convert all your cbz files, you can just run star.cbz. That's the easiest way to convert everything. Otherwise, you can just pass in any individual file right here. So I can convert volume one of Berserk right here. And then all the additional options are included here. I believe by default it will convert it to a Mobi file if you have Kindle Gen installed correctly. But I think for me the default options are pretty good. So 
this is all I do whenever I want to convert a comic book. I'll just open up command prompt, type in this command, and convert everything. That's, in my opinion, the fastest and easiest way to do that. So go ahead and do that if you like working on the command line. But that's it. Now you can go and convert as many comic books and manga as your heart desires. And as for me, I'll just be over here reading Berserk if you need me.